Holy crap. What's up guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to take this instrument cluster out so we can see what's going on and maybe clean it a bit and see what uh, which voltage regulator to order. So that's it for today. Here it is, I think. Oh no. Yeah. That's it. Dang, it's dusty. Ugh. Look at this. It needs a proper cleaning. And here are the voltage regulator, I think. Look at this. Holy shit. Holy shit. Look at this. Oh my god. It's dirty in here. So guys, everything is disabled now. Now I just need to clean everything. You can see everything is dirty, so now it's easier for me to clean. But yeah, so that's what I have to do now. What's up guys, welcome back. So today is the instrument cluster day. I actually got some really good news. So last night I assembled the instrument cluster and I tried to test it out actually at night. And so the great news is that the fuel gauge is working now, yeah. I will show you in a bit when I will put it back. But the thing is I tried to put the plus and minus together and it got all the way to the full and before that it was only going to the middle so i guess it's really good to clean your uh, small electric things like uh, the copper things and stuff like that i will show you in a bit but right now i will start to clean this with a vacuum or yeah something because it's really dirty and the dirt will go back inside the instrument cluster if i don't get it out so right now I will try to clean this. So now everything is vacuumed. Now I'm going to clean with the all purpose from Maguire's with some brush and a microfiber. So I don't know if you can see it, but look at this and let's compare with the other side. This is how it was on the other side too. So it works and I will keep doing this and until everything is cleaned. Look at this boys and girls. Now it's so clean. Let's have a look here. Look at this, you can see how clean it is. Like I still missing this, but you can see when I do like this, it comes off. So it is really dirty. I don't think it's ever been cleaned properly. So, and I will also clean this inside here after it's vacuumed. So it will look perfectos. So here is the finished product. You can see how I cleaned everything. Also all the cables are cleaned because it was dirty. And this is also like everything is cleaned. You can see how clean this looks. I also took this uh, took the light switch off and cleaned it because it wasn't working. The instrument cluster lighting wasn't working uh, when you turn it on and I, there was a lot of uh, the green thingy on this and I cleaned it so now it should work. So this is done, now we only have to put this on and you can see how I cleaned everything. The cover is like new, uh, I scrubbed it off with some electrical re yeah, removal or how you... yeah. 
So now I will try to put it back on and hopefully it will go good. Okay. So the moment of truth, let's try to put... What we will do is to put this ground to the plus. Here, let me just do it for a minute. So like this, so putting the ground and the minus or plus together. And if we turn the key to the ignition, ooh, I hope this works. Holy cow, come on, come on, come on, you can do it. We can do it. Holy crap, it works. And remember that the only thing I did was to clean the cluster, so no new voltage regulator. And yeah, everything works, so now, just to summarize, the cables works, both for this and the extra tank. This fuel sending unit works, the other one doesn't. And. We also fixed this uh, with cleaning the switch, so this works, and the cluster works, so everything is good to go. Now I only need to clean this tank, because it's dirty, so I can use it right now, and get a new sending unit for the other tank. So that's it for this video. Until next time, boy!